all my life. My mother came to live in this street in 1870 into number 21 when she was a girl with her mother and father. And um, when she got married, she moved into 27, where I was born. And I came in here when she died. Her mother took number 23 as well as number 21 and made a, had a door made through so that during these years we've lived in all of the houses. We should have been down here at the time of Edward VII's coronation. We've always done what we like down here, more or less, because the police never used to come down. And, um, and they crowned the man that lived at number 15 uh, he was crowned King of Hinesley Place. And um, my father made the crown in the, or he got it made in the shop of hooping iron. And uh, it had a basted knob on the top for, what do they have on the top of the crown? Sort of a um, little cross thing, don't they? And, um, and it was, um, had a ring of shavings round for the ermine and dabs of paint all over it for the jewels and um, it had a special case made for it and um, my um, uncle he'd acquired a monocle from somewhere so he was Joseph Chamberlain and uh, Mr Banks who lived at number 19 uh, he was the Archbishop of Canterbury and there was a crowning ceremony at the top of the road, which um, was attended by <laughs> all and sundry from Marchland, I should think. <laughs> and he was always reckoned king of Hinesley Place after that. Until they went to America in 1906. And funnily enough, this year, um, um, Mrs. Bennett one day knocked at the door and there stood the garden full of people and it was the youngest son of this man had come home from America for a holiday and he, he came to find anybody who was left and I was the only one that was left. When I was two or three years old and walking, I couldn't walk very far. My mother couldn't. If, if there were, we were invited anywhere, you couldn't go because of getting me home because a charge in irons you can't carry on your arm uh, because one thing is the weight and another thing they're clumsy my father would come and meet her and uh, carry me on his shoulders i used to sit on the back of his neck with one leg each side and i've ridden miles like that and when i was little they had the very old-fashioned buses that um, had like um, a ladder up the side and um, he used to take me out on a Saturday afternoon for a ride. There used to be uh, one of those buses that went from the town hall at Lewisham to uh, um, Beckenham Church and uh, I was all right getting up the ladder because he was uh, behind me but to get down uh, the, uh, he'd have to get down first and, uh, and then I'd jump off the top into his arms, you see. And uh, I can see that driver now and he'd hold...